And is this the time, the first time since 1966, that England are going to be seen to have lifted a major trophy? Is it the first time they're going to win a major trophy on foreign soil? They certainly think that they can. They certainly hope so. Alongside Alex Cook and myself, maybe not to geographically, Martin Keown back home at the moment. We're in Berlin. Martin, good morning to you once again. Martin, before we come to you, I want you to react to this. Yesterday, you won't be surprised to hear that uh, a certain Mr. Simon Jordan here in Germany was refusing to, how could I describe it, refusing to roll back on a previous observation that uh, Gareth Southgate remains an average manager. Have a listen. Hang on a second. I'm the only person in this bloody room that said England will get to the final. I've because, of co because you've called him average manager. Because he is an average you've manager. Because four leaf clover boy because, for so long. But you're not listening. An and average manager won't lift the Euros on Sunday. Well, yeah, yeah, more yeah, than yeah, 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 yeah. Top, they, top elite yeah, manager. Yeah they, yeah, they will in this instance, because he is an average manager. And he has had a situation if where... If he wins it on Sunday, he'll still be an average manager yeah, I think in your so. eyes. Average manager with an exceptional Is that right, players. Rennie? I think if you have a poor group of players and a good manager, you won't win anything, or you might get a chance. But ultimately, if you've got an average manager and a good group of players, you will win something. He's got a good group of, good group, a really good group of players. And I think that if they win on Sunday, he will get the plaudits that he deserves. He'll get his knighthood. He'll get all the things that but go he's with... He's an average manager. <laughs> I think he's an average manager. Rennie, I is do. he an average manager if he wins on Sunday? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jim. <laughs> Even Rennie Mullenstein was moving in there and, uh, and nodded in, uh, in approval to, to Simon's point. What's your take on that? Well, Martin, because as far as I'm uh, concerned, Rennie, how, Rennie, how, Rennie how, could, he be man, how could he be an average manager if they win it? You can't. You can't. And, and we're... Look, you know what Simon's like. If he's going to be wrong in an argument, he just keeps going. He'll go under. He'll drown in all of that until, until you know, until something changes and Gareth then ultimately loses a game. But look, we have to applaud what Gareth Southgate's done. You know, we, we've re this is the second final now in this competition in Euros. The last one we only lost on penalties. Okay, it was on our own back garden, and we maybe should have should have won it then. And there were question marks around the tactics, Jim. But this time round. Gareth's been quite magnificent. I mean, Ollie Watkins coming off the bench was a really angry man the other night. He, he watched Ivan Tony come off the bench when he thought he should have been him. And by the way, that was quite magnificent. He got on the pitch to take that incredible penalty that he took. And the boys were brilliant in that situation. And then Ollie Watkins has got that fire in his belly. He wants to prove to the manager, you know what? And then he had his moment. And it was a quite magnificent moment. And, it, and you could say that the manager has sort of teased that out of him by waiting for him, making him wait. So I don't think Gareth is an average manager by any means. It's absolutely, it's absolutely a stupid thing to say that the man, he's an England manager. We, we're proud of what he's achieving. Look, I think the um, former players and pundits went off the deep end after the first game. And they only did that because they genuinely thought England could win this. And there was an overreaction. I was worried about the game against Denmark because we didn't seem to understand the tactics. But we've, we've adjusted to that. I think maybe that's a lot of that's down to his, his assistant manager has looked at the tactics and his analyst team. But Gareth ultimately makes the decisions, stood on the sideline. And up to now, they've been quite brilliant. But he has to arrive at the final. Ma this Martin, you've used words like magnificent and, and brilliant there. But, but in the same breath, you're saying that the England team haven't necessarily tactically been set up the right way. Or if they have been, they've not understood the tactics. You can be no. a, a good man manager, which I think he has been. You can be a manager who's united uh, the fans with the players. But I think to say he's a magnificent tactician on the back no, no, of one I, game, really, have, where his decisions paid off. Is that not going a bit too far? Avram Graham, well, by the way, was one penalty kick away from winning the Champions League, and he was not even an average manager. You, yeah, but Alex, you guys pick on one particular word, right? I am not in the camp that wants to hammer Gareth Southgate. I'm not in the camp that wants to say he's not good enough and he's average. I think that's appalling language. There are many countries across the, across the world who'd be proud to have him as a manager and get to these type of finals as often as we are. You ask the Dutch... You ask the Italians, are they happy with their manager? Everybody in this tournament, we've seen a lack of creativity in the final third. The one team who's got it right in every match is Spain. They've won every game. We've, not, we've adapted well, and sometimes there's a joy in that. Sometimes you have to admire that. It's not perfect, but we're in the final. We have a chance. If he keeps growing as a manager and he keeps learning, we can knock them over as well. There's no, the, yes, but we need to know what, what, how they can affect us. But we can't be sitting here judging our manager, saying that he's average, 
when he gets to two European Cup finals. I'm not having do, that. Do you do you, fi- do you find this? Do you find Martin this perceived lack of respect that seems to persist in some quarters? Somewhat. I, think it's gone away, I mean, is it is it before a ball is kicked on Sunday? Is it a major achievement for England to have got to two consecutive major finals? Oh, it is. A hundred percent, it is because we're now we're starting to change, aren't we? The guard is changing a little bit. We've got Bellingham coming in. You know, we've got Palmer growing. Um, I, I, I mean, I think we have to applaud what we're doing, Jim. I think we are it, um, very. We see in the Premier League every week. We see fantastic football. We see Pep. We see Arteta, and we've not quite seen that with with, with England. But it's developing. It's growing, and I think we have to admire that. And I think we all have to get, and I very much think everybody is certainly 100% behind Gareth Southgate. Yeah. But the sideshow of Simon Jordan, sorry, does not wash in this situation of having a go at Gareth Southgate. It is not the thing I'll, to I'll, be I'll doing. I'll allow you to tell him that, Martin, when you see him next. Do, Here's do, Alex. Do you know what, though? I, I was trying to go back at Martin a bit there, but I do think it was churlish of Simon on the back of a semi-final when Gareth did get the big decisions right. He went for Watkins ahead of Tony. I think we were all expecting Tony would come on. He spotted the Dutch were vulnerable in behind. Watkins scores the goal. I think you have to give him credit for that. But I think to say he's a brilliant, magnificent tactician is probably going too far. The, the Who's truth saying is in that? the middle. Who's he's not average. He's, he's not, average. He's not brilliant. Well. You used the word brilliant a few times there. Yeah, but no, Martin, he here's the thing. Well, Eng- England, were, England were expected by many to win this tournament. And to that extent, Gareth Southgate will have been seen to have done his job. And I think that was a point that Simon was making, no? Well, Jim, maybe we were being unrealistic because I thought the Germany team looked quite magnificent in the way that they played, the way that they used their wide players, the way their fullbacks got forward, the way that Kroos dropped deep to, to, to mount their attacks. There's a lot to be admired there. Um, Spain have, have grown and developed. This young lad, this 16-year-old kid. I mean, look, Let's get back to the game. Can Luke Shaw handle this young man? Can Luke Shaw handle this 16-year-old kid? So it looks like Luke, Luke Shaw will come into the team. I'm pretty certain Nico Williams can be wrapped up by Walker on the other side. But, Jim, there's lots of battles all over the pitch. And the manager has to make sure that Rodri does not destroy us. He does it for City. He can't be allowed to do it for Spain. So there's, let's get back to the game. Forget the sideshows. It's not about us, the pundits, the former players. Uh, Simon, who wins lots of awards on his own, apparently for us as a as a, as a broadcaster, it's about <laughs> England. It's about England and Gareth Southgate and Harry managed it at this weekend. So, uh, Martin, just to sum up, then in the few sentences in the time we have left, I mean, not not allowing your head to rule your heart or your heart to rule your head, whatever way it is. <laughs> what do you think we're going to see on Sunday? Who's going to win it? We get the tactics right, we can beat them. I don't see Morata as world-class, like a Haaland at the top of the team. I think we can get out there two cents. Le- Laporte, we can get him behind him, like we're, Ollie Watkins did the other night. But what we must do, Jim, is when we don't have possession of the ball, we've got to get every single player behind the ball, edge of the box, end off. Like the Thames barrier, it needs to be there, shut down. We can't leave two or three up the pitch. Come all the way back. They get that right in the transition, we can beat them. I think he's right. I think the one thing we will agree on, Rodri is absolutely key to this game. He won't win player of the tournament. I think he probably has been the player of the tournament. But if Spain win it, it'll go to one of the two wide men. But if England can stop him influencing the game, as we see week in, week out for Man City, we've seen here where he's let the the players ahead of him do the damage, but he's been controlling it in front of the back four. If we can find a way to stop that happening, I think England should be favourites. Well, Martin, the next time I see you, mate, Back in London, you never know. You, 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 you may have witnessed something that, as an England fan, a former England international yourself, uh, is well worth ce- celebrating. Mark, just b- before I go in a sentence, what would it mean to you? You've worn the England shirt. What, what would it mean to you if the, if the boys lift it? Uh, well, it's, it's a fantastic moment for all of our country. You know, like, like you want to see my family when we're watching this, you know. There, there's a tinge of, like, well, why couldn't we have done it in our era? And what did we get wrong? But there's also like when you've got when Gareth Southgate played with me for England a dozen times. So it's one of your own who's in there managing it. So you do really want the best for him. And um, we just need things to go well for us, Jim. Do you know, but we, we need to, I think the understanding of what we're up against is the most important thing. Yeah. We can do it. Martin, it's always good to speak to you. Thank you so much for your time this morning because I know you're a man in demand. Thank you so much for being with us, Martin. Pleasure, guys.
Enjoy it. Was ist das? Talksport?